Hey guys, and welcome to. So uh, this is a video I have been waiting for for quite a while now. I'm really, really excited for it. This is going to be a Mattel figure review for the Shield. Um, look, let's let's not wait anymore. I've got it down here. Uh, some of you might have seen it in uh, one of the other videos uh, that we did, but this is this is the set. This is what it looks like. Um, absolutely. I can't even begin to say this is this is one of the best WWE items that I own. Um, I can tell you that I got it from Birmingham Comic uh, Con. So if you get a chance to watch that video, um, I recommend that you do. And uh, this wasn't on the stall. Uh, basically, there was a girl that came and asked about Dean Ambrose figures. Uh, the guy that ran the stall said he had one left and and got it for her. And then he showed her this. Thankfully, she she didn't take it for whatever reason, um, and uh, the only reason this wasn't on his stall was because he he simply didn't have the space on the stall for it. Fifty pounds this was, um, but I'm fairly sure. I mean, I've never seen it. I'm fairly sure it's never been on sale in the UK. I mean, you could get it from eBay, get it online, things like that. But this was a Kmart exclusive. We we don't have Kmart in the UK. Um, this was a Kmart exclusive and uh, what Kmart do is they go to Mattel and they say look we want we want a triple pack right we want something that's exclusive so what can you do for us and normally Mattel will go well here's a John Cena because he features in everything uh, here's a big show um, and also you can have a uh, I don't know um, Kane right or Triple H or Ric Flair whatever just three random figures that, that don't make any sense. For whatever reason, with this set, we got the shield. <laughs> um, I can tell you now, right, that um, I don't want to open this set, right? Now, you might think, oh, boo, blah, 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 yeah. But it's not the figures that make this set so impressive. These are actually basic figures. Um, you can get these two together in Battle Pack, I think it's Series 24, and you can get this Ambrose on his own. Uh, in, a, in a basic series 33 it's not the figures the figures the figures are obviously part of it but to my knowledge this is the only pack the only way you can get all three members of the shield in one pack that's what makes it special um, and that's why I don't want to open it I don't care about rare and all that kind of stuff I'm not interested in that I just think that together the three of them in this pack the names in front, the name along the side, the just the whole piece just makes it stand out more than if I just open it and put it on the shelf behind me. Um, this is this is going to go absolutely pride of place uh, behind me because this, this is just one of the best things I own. I absolutely love it. I was a big fan of the Shield. Uh, the Shield as well, it's, it's worth talking about them in case you don't know. They they uh, emerged on the scene in uh, Survivor Series 2012. These are three guys from NXT um, and they emerged on the scene and they absolutely dominated. This pack I can tell you is from 2013. Um, so they hadn't been around that long when uh, this came out. Um, and... Uh, yeah, they, they had matches against the Wyatts, they had matches against Evolution, they had matches against... I remember, I remember a match they were in that was the Shield against Team Hell No and The Undertaker. You know, that's Daniel Bryan, Kane and The Undertaker against Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. I mean, you would just... You, how much would you love that match now? Uh, well, it happened. You know, go back, watch it on the network. It, it happened. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, I can tell you though, as I say, they're basic, so the articulation's not going to be great on them. You also can't remove the clothes or anything like that. There's no accessories that come with this. It is very much what you see is is what you get here with these figures. Um, there's there's no surprises or anything. Uh, on the back, as you can see, um, same images um, but just spaced out. And then there's. Uh, some pictures of some rings, so you got Raw, SmackDown, Royal Rumble rings, um, and it just says like uh, compete uh, in these superstar rings. Um, and really, outside of that, that is it. When it comes to giving it a score, it's it's the easiest ten I'll ever give. Um, as I said, this is it's the pack that I'm giving it to. 
Um, and the, the figures are good as well, you know, let's not hate on the figures. That's a good uh, Dean Ambrose, which is different to what he looks like now. It's, he's more uh, moody, um, snarling kind of Dean Ambrose, you know, with the slick back hair. Uh, Roman Reigns looks largely the same. Seth looks largely the same. At this point, he's still got like the two colours in his hair, uh, which, you know, he started to move away from a little bit before. Um, and then obviously the attire is similar across the three. Um, so yeah, you know, really cool set. Um, and uh, oh, just so pleased I could get my hands on it, you know, keep it nice and safe behind me. Um, yeah, man. Cool. Uh, don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Wrestling Days UK. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, then it'd be wicked if you did, uh, so that uh, you won't miss out on any future videos. And uh, uh, I always like to try and get the figures to say goodbye and wave goodbye uh, when I do a, a review, but I have no idea how to do it, so I'll try with Roman Reigns. I can't, hopefully you can see him there. Um, I don't I don't know if he's waving or if he, or if it just looks stupid, but uh, I mean, look, it's the shield. They do what they want, don't they? So I tried.